Hi, welcome back to Fox Lab. I'm Dr. Fox. I'm with Fox Particles 3.0.0 now. We'll talk about the version system later. But for those who don't know what Fox Particles is, Fox Particles is a Cinema 4D plugin, which is a particle system like uh, X Particles or Real Flow or I don't know. Anyway, uh, but it's a lot cheaper and uh, uh, it makes use of Cinema 4D's thinking particle system. But you don't have to do any node system or node programming or anything like that. It's easier workflow like like an X particles, but a lot cheaper. So where we can get these force particles and how to install it? Let's look at it. So this is my official website foxlab.co.in. It's not foxlab.com. It's foxlab.co.in. The link is in the description. I didn't get the foxlab.com extension. So it's .co.in. And you can have a chat with me here. You can press. I think there will be some button to start chat. And uh, we have some options here. It's a work in progress website. So bear with it. I released it early because you can download products and chat with me here. You can contact us here. And also, if I am not available in the chat, you can use this email ID to contact me. Okay. To download my product, you can go to the product section. There will be small version of Gumroad here. You can give the amount here. There will be Fox Particle 3.0.1. I have to make a small bug fix in between this video. So it's 3.0.1. The version system is like the this is the main version. There will be the next version will be Fox Lab 4, but there will be some early releases, some features will be added in between that. The Fox Lab, uh, sorry, Fox Particles, that will be here. 3.1 will be some features new that are planned for Fox Particles for these purchases. And this will be hot fixes and bug fixes. Okay. So now let's purchase our plugin. You can add at least $25. You can add more than that. And press I want this. And you can pay for that here. Or you can just search Fox Particles. In Google, it's on the top right now. I'm not sure it will be forever. I'm not doing any SEO or something like that. So it will lead you to the Gumroad official site. You can purchase it here too. You can add a $25 and uh, press I want this. Then just press pay. It will bring you to this receipt. You can go to view content. If you accidentally close this one, you can go to your mail id there will be another link for this page you can download this project here there is a zip file rar file there you don't have to copy the license key it will it will be already pre-installed in your plugin so there is fox particles 3.0.1 rar you can open that and there will be two files a readme file and a fox particles file fox particles folder now let's go to cinema 4d's installation folder go to your plugins folder or wherever the plugins are installed in your system you have to delete if you have already installed the fox particles any older versions you have to delete it before don't make a replace option then it will ask for administrator permission if you are installing in this folder i'll give it a continue now the fox particles is installed now let's start our fox sorry cinema 4d r25 as you can see cinema 4d r25 is here this is the standard layout now go to extension you can see the fox particle is the there is a lot of items here also as tags to fox particles there are some items there too but uh, getting it from here every time is a bit complicated so i have shipped a pre-made palette with it 
you go to fox uh, plugins you have installed go to fox particles come on and there is a rest folder though there is a lib folder inside that you can see a l4d file that's a palette so we can get that here go to window customization and uh, load palette and it asked for the folder there so we'll copy this folder structure paste it here and we can load the fox particles 3.0 palette there so we just extend it hold this uh, i don't know some dots are there hold that and i usually dock it here now we need one more thing just go to the last button it's tp settings you can press that and there will be a thinking particle option hold these three lines and uh, dock it here and maybe give it some more space so this is the setup i usually do with my particle system we'll see what these things are and if this is annoying you can hold control and click on this it will hide there it is there you can press this thing here and it will be back or you can press it here just control and click will hide that okay now let's save the windows uh, this layout you can go either customization and save as a startup layout or you can go save layout as a different thing let's say fox particles and save it will be there for ever not ever until you delete it okay so that's the two place you can get my fox particles and how to install it also that palette system if you want to use it you can use it also you can use this website for help or any bug fixes like that you have a chat window down there if we are not available you can use that mail id for asking your questions or bug issues or something like that now let's see what my plugin holds a detailed tutorial will be following up and uh, this is just an introduction okay so i'm with cinema 4d r25 right now you can use any version in between r21 and r25 it will work and i have already docked my palette here that i have shipped with my particles and uh, if i press this you can see i have docked thinking particle settings here too but hidden okay now let's see what are these buttons in my parallel system these three buttons are already in built in cinema 4d I, this is not part of X, uh, fox particles but uh, we will use these things in fox particle also but uh, and not only these things we can use not effectors but our field systems too effectors are, are coming in next version i believe uh i'm not sure but uh it is coming anyway for these three buttons we have already seen the tp settings button you can see the thing in particle settings also and uh you have tp geometry here it is part of cinema 4d not part of this but uh we can use make use of that here too uh we are not explaining that now and we have our forces here the same one you can see in simulate forces and the other two buttons are here tp geometry and tp settings okay now the fox particles buttons are these one two three four five buttons and the first one is fox scene setup it's just a preset which is um which is just a testing if the fox particles is working or not so i'll just press that button and uh, you can see uh, i have made a preset with the particle shape collision uh, with a force there is an emitter an event and uh, tp geometry here and uh, i think uh, if this works and if we press play you can see there's a collision the if it all works the particles is installed correctly so let's delete that one and uh, press backspace now and i can hide it by pressing this one uh, it will automatically load also press this thing so be careful about that 
now the next button is fox emitters fox emitters are the source for particles you have a fox emitter a normal emitter one there is a fox dynamic emitter uh, dynamic emitter it's new for fox particle 3 there's a heat emitter there's a split emitter i'm not explaining all this but these are the sources like a there is a source for there's a rectangular source shape source you can change it to an object or uh, you can change that to a circular shape or you can change to an object and uh, the settings will be changed according to that you can use a any editable object as a um, yeah any or oh, <laughs> more than one editable object as a emitter now it's emitting from that object okay uh, you can use non-editable objects parametric objects with a dynamic emitter heat emitter will be emitting from a collision and uh, this is emitting from another particles so we'll see that detail in later tutorials and uh, we have some i'll change this back to fox emitter back to shape object for now and i'll delete the sphere now let's see we have some force object the curl fox object is giving a curly motion for our our particles and uh, we have some events which will give color you can edit properties attributes of particles like an align event will be having you you need to have some particles sorry some object to work with that so i'll give it a cloner make the clone size smaller and we can go with object now the group option we can press here add the all here don't add this fox emitter here it will break so without fox align event if i turn that on you can see the particles is moving like this and uh, let's remove fox curl fox won't work as good with fox align so we'll remove that force and it's time for a cinema 4d turbulence and if i turn back the turbulence is not affecting i'll give you a small amount and uh, maybe a tenth of strength of 10 centimeter but it's not working yet because you have to add fox particles fox fox tag on it now it's working and uh, maybe we'll increase the size and uh, yeah you can see that turbulence is working and if i turn on the event it's an alignment event now you can see the cloners the clones are turning aligning the uh, clones according to the particle movement there are some other options too but we are not going to that and uh, we have after events we have a fox cache option you have you can cache your particles you have to make group and all that we are not explaining that here but for every object it is placed in an uh, exact order there is a event group to place events you have more than a, uh, one event all the events are placed in event group all the emitters are placed in emitter group and all the forces are placed in force groups it is essential if you place it somewhere else it won't work so you have to place it under that groups and turn it on and if you have more than one group it's okay you can have more than one force group but you have to place it in respective groups and uh, the cache should be inside the fox scene you can place it somewhere else you have to place it under foxy all the groups should be under foxy so right play you can see uh, that's the work of for magnet force there so i'll turn it off you can see the particles are working so that's how that's a small introduction to my particles there is a lot there and uh, we'll be having a getting started tutorial along with this 
see you there and enjoy my particle system thank you okay.